Now let's cover activity number 2.6. So students activity number 2.6 is going to be all about reaction between acids and bases. So since we have already studied about neutralization reaction we now know that when an acid will combine with a base the product is going to be a salt and some amount of water. So here they have said that acid and base both are reacting together to form salt that is sodium chloride and water. Then what will happen? This acid when red litmus solution ke contact mein aega, there will be no change. But soon blue litmus solution ke contact mein aega, so it will turn blue litmus solution reddish in color. फिनॉक्थलीन के बारे में बात करें, so as we have already studied that इस केस में क्या होगा? That acid will be like colorless, but methyl or in solution के केस में it will turn reddish in color. वहीं पर अगर हम सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड की बात करें, which is basic in nature, red litmus solution के कांटेक्ट में आते, it will turn bluish in color, because sodium hydroxide means it's a base. But in blue litmus solution, there will be no change. In the case of phenolphthalene, it will turn pink in color. And in methyl orange, it will be like yellow in color. So, these are all the indicators that you people have to remember. It's like one such thing which is mandatory. And what will happen? Acid reacting with base will give salt and water. We always remember this. Moving on to activity number 2.7, it says that reaction between a metal oxide and an acid, just like acids and bases, it will be giving salt and water. So here we have copper oxide in a beaker. When copper oxide mixes with dilute hydrochloric acid, we have to stir that solution. Stirring that solution will give blue-green color. This is because of the formation of copper chloride. Or reaction kya kehti hai? Reaction kehti hai CuO. That means copper oxide when it will combine with hydrochloric acid. That is HCl. The product is going to be copper chloride. That is CuCl2 and some amount of water will be there. Activity number 2.8 is about conduction of electricity with the help of acids and bases. So here we'll be using dilute HCl and then we can also use a base. So base ke thought per let's just say we can use sodium hydroxide. So in this case, what will happen? That acids and bases release ions in aqueous form and hence they will be conducting electricity. So they have mentioned a list that what will happen here when any acid or a base will get dissolved in water and whether the bulb will glow or not because electricity is conducting conduction so check to do that if electricity is conducting or not so for that will be using a bulb just to check ki glow ho ra ya nahi so HCl that is an acid will release H plus ions and bulb will glow H2SO4 is sulfuric acid will also release hydroxide ion but then bulb will again glow but agar hum yaha par glucose ya fir alcohol ki baat karein ye wo compounds hai jo हाइड्रोजन और हाइड्रोऑक्साइड आयन दोनों ही रिलीज करेंगे। बट इस केस में हम इन दोनों ही कंपाउंड्स का यूज नहीं कर सकते हैं इन ऑर्डर टू कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी। बट लास्टली अगर हम बेसेस लें सच एस सोडियम हाइड्रोऑक्साइड एंड कैल्शियम हाइड्रोऑक्साइड, बोथ ऑफ देम विल रिलीज हाइड्रोऑक्साइड आयन when they are dissolved in water and the bulb will also glow. So bulb glow indicates that now electricity is being conducted. Moving on to activity number 2.9, we will be learning here about acidic property of acids only in aqueous solution. 
for so for that it has been explained that when concentrated sulfuric acid is added to dry sodium chloride so h2so4 will be combining with nacl it emits hydrochloric acid in gaseous form so when gaseous hcl is exposed to blue litmus it does not change any color when gases hcl is exposed to moist blue litmus it will change its color from blue to red so acid show hote hain mostly apni properties acche se show karte hain in aqueous solution tabhi to when this gaseous hcl was exposed to dry blue litmus there was no color change but soon it came in contact with the moist blue litmus there was a gradual color change from blue to red in color talking about more features acid will release h plus ions in the aqueous solution ye wo statement hai jo hum starting se padhte aa rahe hain acidic property of acids is exhibited only in aqueous form that is when they will start releasing h plus ions talking about dilution of an acid or base that is given in activity number 2.10 here it has been explained that when concentrated sulfuric acid is added to water or when sodium hydroxide is added to water the beaker becomes hot yani chahe कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एसिड हो या कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड बेस हो दोनों ही वाटर के कॉन्टैक्ट में आते ही हीट रिलीज करना स्टार्ट करते हैं सो दैट्स आउ हम उनके कॉन्सेंट्रेशन को रिड्यूस कर सकते हैं बाई एडिंग वाटर टू दैम क्योंकि सोन वो वाटर के कॉन्टैक्ट में आ रहे हैं हीट रिलीज करना स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं सो वी कैन से दैट डायल्यूशन ऑफ वो acids and bases are exothermic reaction reason being humne already padha hai that exothermic reactions are those reactions that will be releasing energy to the surrounding so here both concentrated acid and concentrated base since they are releasing or they are giving out heat to the surrounding will say that their dilution process is an example of exothermic chemical reaction next activity is activity number 2.11 where they have mentioned ph values of solutions so the first one is saliva so yahan par they have mentioned uh, uh ph values of saliva before and after meal so before meal the ph value would be around 7.4 and since it is more than 7 it's obviously basic in nature so it will be like green in color talking about saliva after meal then it would be like more yellowish in color ph value would be like 5.8 therefore acidic in nature lemon juice strong acid that means ph value would be like 2.5 and it will have a pinkish reddish color colorless aerated drink yellow color ph would be 6 and 6 means acidic in nature carrot juice ph value is 4 therefore it would be light orange in color and acidic in nature coffee ph value is 5 so yellow in color and it is going to be acidic in nature tomato juice dark orange so pH is 4.1. Obviously, it is acidic in nature. Tap water. P color of pH paper would be green. Seven is the pH value. Therefore, it's neutral. One mole of NaOH, that is sodium hydroxide, the color of pH paper would be dark blue or violet. pH value would be between 13 to 14. Means basic in nature. Obviously. One mole of hydrochloric acid, strong acid. So the pH value is one. Color would be red, and we'll say 
that the nature of substance is acidic in nature. So out of so many different substances which are being listed here, we can say that just one of them was neutral in nature. The other ones, other one was like mixture of acidic and basic substances. Moving on to the next statement that is activity number 2.12 or 2.12 we will be covering pH values of soil. कि कौन सी pH value soil की favor करेगी plant growth को या plant growth को affect करेगी. So we can say कि जब भी pH value of soil would be equal to 7. But before that ये तो पता करें कि soil की pH value check कैसे करेंगे. So we'll say that take 2 gram of soil in a test tube and add 5 ml of water to it. Filter the content and then check the pH value of the filtrate. So this method ho gaya that how we have to check the pH value. Like ek dam se ja ke, we can't check the pH value of the soil. First you have to take 2 gram of it, add 5 ml of water to it, filter to it, filter it and then check the pH value of the filtrate. So pH value if it is like equal to 7. Or we can say if it is neutral in nature, the plant will grow well. But if pH values are acidic in nature or basic in nature, this will affect growth of the plant. So every single time when uh, we are checking the pH of soil and if it is acidic in nature or basic in nature, we should correct these defects. Otherwise, it will affect growth of the plant. Moving on. We have activity number 2.3 which has mentioned formulas of different sorts. So students you people can take your own time, make a list of all these salts and unke formulas up mention karo. So salt 1 is potassium sulfate. Potassium means K, sulfate means SO4. The formula would be K2SO4 or ye banega kaise? This will be formed when sulfuric acid will combine with potassium hydroxide. The second one is sodium sulfate that is Na2SO4. So this sodium sulfate is being formed when sulfuric acid combines with sodium hydroxide. Calcium sulfate that is CaSO4 is formed when sulfuric acid combines with calcium hydroxide. Magnesium sulfate is formed that means MgSO4 when sulfuric acid combines with magnesium hydroxide. Copper sulfate that is CuSO4 is formed when sulfuric acid combines with CuOH2 that is copper hydroxide. Next one is sodium chloride very commonly used example in case of neutralization reaction. So this would be formed when acid that is hydrochloric acid combines with sodium hydroxide. Then sodium nitrate that is NaNO3 is formed when nitric acid combines with sodium hydroxide. Sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3 would be formed when hydrogen carbonate combines with NaOH. And lastly, aluminium chloride that is NH4Cl is formed when acid that is the hydrochloric acid combines with ammonium hydroxide. So students, this particular slide may we have learned that what are the formulas of different salts and how these salts are made when two different acids and bases combine together. Moving on to the next activity that is activity number 2.14. We have got nature of salt solution. So now we are going to see ki agar hamare paas koi specific salt hai, to whether it is going to be a, a neutral in nature, acidic in nature or basic in nature. So starting with the sodium chloride, one it is neutral in nature. Potassium nitrate which is made up of nitric acid and potassium hydroxide are also neutral in nature. But if we talk about ammonium chloride, 
zinc sulfate and copper sulfate three of them are acidic in nature but sodium acetate sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate are basic in nature so this was all about nature of different salt solution students aap log kya kar sakte ho either ye uh, table aap log bana sakte ho or else aap ye pichli wali table bana sakte ho here it's just the same table the only thing that has been added over here is the nature of the salt solution that whether it is acidic or nature or basic in nature or it is neutral in nature with this we are going to move on to uh, activity number 2.15 which i think is the last activity of this chapter where we'll be learning about water of crystallization so it's like copper sulfate having five molecules of water when it is heated it decomposes to form copper sulfate and water so we'll say that this copper sulfate which was having five molecules of water was bluish in color but copper sulfate will have white color the reverse will happen if copper sulfate is added or it combines with five molecules of water will get copper sulfate like will get hydrated copper sulfate where it is going to acquire blue colored crystals so they have mentioned that when a blue colored copper sulfate in a test tube is heated it turns into white powder when some drops of water are being added to it again it will turn bluish in color so reversible uh, reaction initially bluish in color then it got turned into whitish in color but again when it, uh, some amount of water was added it turned to the same color that is bluish in color so students this was it for chapter 2 i hope all the videos might would have been helpful for you students just an advice always comment down below regarding your queries or the doubts that you people have so that we could cover or we could discuss about those